Good morning, children. Hi, guys. Today, my I want to say about a transport system in a plant. Do you know the what, what are the how are the plants are there? So there are the different types of many plants. So there are the some are big, some are small. So very smaller plants are grown and then herbs. Big are covered in the trees. So now first of all we have to see how the plant will grow. Now the topic is about the transport system in a plant. Before starting the transport system of the plant, first of all I have to see how to show that how the plants will be arranged. So just if you take a small seed. So small seed in the soil, if you take a small seed here, after a three or a four days, a small node will be present. Then after another node will be present. Again it will be grown. So that which are upper part of an egg, ground is known as the shoot system. And below the ground where the roots will be arises, they are known as the root system. Systems will be analyzed so that are the root system and a shoot system. So we know that what are the uh, uses of an egg? Why? Because in the previous classes we are going on studying about an egg uh, plants uh, that is the root system and a shoot system. Root system means which gives the support the plant to stand straight. So, it, uh, so when you are putting the water to the plant, it will absorb the water in the plant. The roots and again after that it supplies to our part of the plant. So this is the absorption of the plant. Then after it will be grows into a seed and a fruit or a flower like that it will be grows. Now let us start first of all the transport system in a plant. So transport Plants, uh, plants need water, mineral and food to live. So not only the plants are the human beings also need the plant, water, food and to live. So how the, we are getting the water, we know the water sources, we know the food, how we are getting the food to the plants. But how the plants are getting the uh, food. So water means just we are giving a water for them, we are pouring the water for them. But uh, how they are getting the food. So through the sunlight. Through the sunlight, the plants are receiving the through the sunlight, the plants are receiving the food in the form of an photosynthesis. In the form of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. So what is the meaning of an photo? Photo means sunlight. And the synthesis means preparing. So means what? So how the plants are preparing their food, how they are getting their own food, plants are preparing their own food. So how they are getting the food means by the process of the photosynthesis. Here is an common what we are doing, government is present in the soil, but they need an food means through the sunlight only they are preparing the food. So that process is known as the photosynthesis. The plants are receiving the food by the form of an photosynthesis means through the air, water, sunlight and warm yes, that process is known as the photosynthesis. Photo means what? Sunlight. So through the sunlight the plants are preparing. So the sunlight is the food for the plants. So they need any food, water to live. So we also need the food and so how we are getting the food means we are getting the food through the through the plants. So the plants are preparing their own food. Can we prepare our own food? Can we prepare our own? No, we can't prepare, right? Because we are dependent upon the plants only. So the plants are simply preparing their food through the sunlight. So at the time of the morning, 7 to 8 o'clock, so what are the sun is receiving? The sunlight is receiving that so that they will store in the leaves and that will uh, keep any capability, give the capability to live for them. And the water in the air is the warmness is the food. Okay. So now the plants need water to the process of a photosynthesis, transpiration, transportation and a mechanical factor. So what is the so not only the uh, water, air, warmness, sunlight is photosynthesis is necessary. So not only that they need the transport. 
Transpiration. Transpiration, transportation. Transportation and a mechanical and a mechanical function. Are there. 
So one of the two types of elementary solution is xylem and phloem. Xylem and phloem. So what is the xylem and phloem? So in this, how the water is transport means the water transports from a one plant to another when we are pouring the water to the plant so there are the number of in your house in your garden there are the number of plants are there so what we will do we will pour the water from plant and plant to plant to plant like that so once we are going on pouring the water so what happened the water which we pour from here it reaches to all the all plants what how many plants are present in our garden it will be reaches it will be transport like that and one after one the water, water, the minerals are present in the soil that also transport by this way. So that system is known as the vascular system, and there is a uh, roots are there. This system will be reached. This water will be reached up to the tip of the root to the tip of the leaf to the tip of the leaf root uh, root and tip of the leaf. So in, by this, there are the two systems. There are two tissues are present. They are known as the xylem and the phloem. For a plant, a tree is there. A tree is there, and these are the roots. For the there are the propagated roots are there for the big trees. So for the uh, small plant, there are the fibrous roots are present. If there is a tree is there, for this a crop root is there. Crop root means the roots are prolonged to somewhere. So just if you are having your mouth, if you are having a green tree, mango tree or a guava tree, just you dig up, just you dig some some up, you can find out the roots are broad, roots are propagated to somewhere, somewhere distance it was going on propagating. How much place is there? The roots are propagating. The roots are very broad. If you take the example of a jasmine plant, these roots are the um, fibrous roots are there. They are very tiny. Our hair like the roots are present. So if we pour some water, it is going up. Also, so these big trees are known as the seasonal trees are there. So for big trees, we are known as the pouring, pouring the water. Whenever maybe the rainy season comes, that time only, it will the roots are propagated. So the roots are propagated from all all distances. So whenever this this are known as the seasonal plants. So seasonal trees are known. So whenever whenever maybe the summer season comes, whenever maybe the rainy season comes, so it will stores the water in the roots. What they will do? It will stores the water in the root, and whenever maybe necessary through the roots again, it will be absorbs. It will be transferred to one part of the plant to the other part, other part. So this is this is also known as the transport system. And in this tree, there are the two main tissues are there that are known as the xylem and the phloem. So this is the known as the phloem and the xylem. Did you understand up to here? Did you? I think you have understood. So the plants are the, the plants are very necessary for us why? Because we have to depend upon the plants only. So what we are getting the foods we are eating, the foods are the vegetables are the food is there. So that we are the uh, we are the, we are getting the from the plants only, from the trees only we are getting. So the plant is not depend upon a human being, but human being and animals are depend upon the plant only. Why? Right? Because we have the we need the food that we get from the plants only. Animals which need the food that also get from the plants only. So that the plant is only one is there, it will be it is not depend upon it is a self dependent. So it it prepares its own food from the sunlight. So the sunlight is in the process of the photosynthesis. Do you know what the photosynthesis is? Photosynthesis means photo means sunlight. Synthesis means the preparing through the sunlight. The plants are preparing by the in the uh, by air, water, warm and sunlight. So this all together process is known as the photosynthesis. So <coughs> if you take in how the plants are arranged, you know that there are many ways, different ways are there to uh, to produce a name. 
plant. So if you take in a small seed, uh, if you sow into the soil, so three or four or five or six days, so how much will be ready there? So that if you, uh, if you uh, see uh, two or three days or four days after what happens, this small node in the arises. So through that node, it will go one degree. One, one node will be goes up to the ground and one node will come to the ground. So upper is known as the upper which is an above the ground is known as the root system. Shoot system below the ground is known as the shoot system. Root system where the roots are available. So when we are giving the water from the when we are pulling the water from the plant, first of all, it will reach us to the roots. Through the roots only it will supply to our plant okay? our part of the plant. So there are <coughs> in, a, in our garden, there are first there are the three topics are there that is the uh, transportation. So this is how the plants are how the plants how the plants are transferred, how the water is transferred to one plant okay? one plant to another plant. Means you are if you are pouring the water to one plant, number of plants are there in our campus, in our school campus, or in our house, in packet of our houses. So there are many plants are there. So maybe the brinjal, tomato, chili, or whatever may be the rose plant or jasmine plant, whatever may be. In the point because we are we like the trees, we love the trees. So if you are having number of trees, either we are pouring the ones or pouring the water, then means it was going on uh, supplying to our plant. So it was going on transporting from one plant to another and one plant to another. And not only the plant, uh, not only they are receiving the water. But in the water, the minerals are present in the soil also that also they are receiving through the water by the transport system, transportation system. So the system is known as the vascular system. In this, there are the main two, in a plant, in a tree, there are main two tissues are there. So that are known as the xylem and chloem. So xylem and chloem, we can see in a big trees, we can find the upper layer of a thick layer of an plant is a tree is known as a phloem and inner part is known as a xylem. Okay, I think we have understood. Now the plant tissues. So as I studied earlier, uh, you know that the body of an all living beings are, are made up of an cell. These cells are arranged in a different groups so will form the tissues and form the particular functions of an organ. So according to the shape, size, structure and the function, the plant tissues are our two types, mainly as an metastomatic tissue and or a growth tissue or a permanent tissue. So we know that uh, how the <coughs> according to the plants, according to the they are the different types of uh, plants are they, they are having a uh, different uh, shape and uh, size and uh, what happened and the structure and their functions. Okay. So there are the different types of uh, plants. So there are some are having the uh, shape, size. So these are the different size function Why the leaves are green in color? So, 
the leaves are green in color because the green color pigment like a chlorophyll is present in that. Okay, now so the green color chlorophyll is present in that. So that's why the leaves are green in color. Then if you observe that some leaves are turned into the uh, yellow in color. Why the leaves will be turned into yellow color? Means in the chlorophyll is absent. The so slowly, slowly by age coming time, the what happened? The leaves becomes in the gold. And then the chlorophyll absent, the chlorophyll absent, then the leaf becomes an yellow in color. Okay, now why the leaves are green in color? Means because of a green color pigment. Green color pigment is present. Chlorophyll. So if the if the leaves are green in color, means so we have can think that the chlorophyll is present. That's why the leaves are green in color. If the leaf turns into yellow in color, we can say that the chlorophyll is absent. Okay, na? now <clears throat> so according to the shape, size, structure, function, and transmission, there are the two types. Namely, so namely there are the nursematic. Tissues are well growth, growth or growth tissue or common tissue. We see already the two types of any tissues are there. Again, there are two types of any tissues are so before that we have studied there are the two types of any uh, tissues are present in it, the tissue, the xylem and phloem. Okay, up here. Now coming to the other type of any two types of any tissues are present that are known as the meristematic. Tissue or growth of permanent tissue. Growth or permanent tissue. So here yeah, two types of the tissues are present.
There are the two types of connective tissues are the latent and meristematic tissues of or a growth or a parallel tissue. Now let us see the meristematic tissue. Now, the cell of a meristematic tissue is a thin wall with a large permanent nucleus in the center. So you can see that here this is a nucleus. Okay. If this is the nucleus is present in the in the meristematic tissue roots. So if you cut and then you take one root of an epigrid tree and just to cut out, then you can find the some some layers are the present. So there is an tissue is present. And uh, there is a uh, permanent nucleus in the center. So this is known as a nucleus. So nucleus is a present in the present in the center. It lacks a permanent, it passes cell vacuoles and it fills it with a dense protoplasm. So dense protoplasm is what it is the always all the leaves are filled with it with a chloroplast only. Chloroplast means a green color pigment like a chlorophyll is the present. How are the leaves actually? How are the leaves? Leaves are a green in color. Why the leaves are green in color? Right? Because the chlorophyll is the present and the previous classes somewhere I have said. And then uh, this cell is divided rapidly and continuously. This led to the growth of an implant in a high and thickness. So due to the nucleus, due to the nucleus of the chloroplasm only, the plant was growing into the thickness and the height also. With the help of a nucleus only in the meristematic in the meristematic tissue. So what happened? The leaves are this is a leaf structure. And how are the leaves are green in color? Why the leaves are green in color? It's because the chlorophyll is present. So the chlorophyll through the chlorophyll, you can if you cut one of the big tree, then through the roots you can find a nucleus in there. So through the nucleus, with the help of a nucleus only, we can see that the plant is growing very high wise and size wise only. And for example, the, at the root and the shoot table. So what happens? Uh, in a, just now I have said that for the for a seed there is a uh, two systems will be arrived that is a uh, shoot system and a root system. So we can find this meristematic system in a root only. In a root system only we can find the meristematic tissue. 